Hi, this is Linz from Sweet Natured, and this is our ship tour of Cunard's Queen Mary 2. As always, I'm joined by Mikey. Hello. Hello, who put the video together, and this is my first time watching, so let's see what we can see. It's ship tour time, Linz. Yes. And it's quite a long one, this one. It's well over an hour, so if you want to pause and go get yourself a drink, strongly recommend that one. Or, or do anything else you need to make yourself more comfortable. Well, yeah. But let's start on it, because you're seeing bits on here that I don't think you actually saw on the ship, um, including what I was just peering over at the start there, which is the um, Grills private deck. Oh, nice. Well, you say nice. It didn't look any fancier than the one on deck eight where we were set out, just quieter. Okay. Um, but having said that, there were no cushions out, there were nobody sat there. But I didn't feel that I could go down because we weren't a grills guest. That's true. That's true. So um, we're up here near the Boardwalk Cafe. That was never open. It wasn't. Really disappointingly. Is it because we were in the fjords? Norwegian fjords? Well, I don't know. I mean, obviously there's a little bit of wet on the deck there because we did have some rain just for a few seconds on this. But the rest of the time it was a really warm journey. It wasn't bad. But I could still get in here. Apologies for the slight bumpers went in. That door was really heavy. Is this? A, is it, are we going into the grills bit? No, no, we're going <gasps> into the boardwalk cafe area. Okay. Just so people can see what it looks like, including you, because you never saw it. I never saw it. Um, I guess it does burgers and hot dogs and that kind of thing, like a lot of cruise. Well, I know this is a, a lot of a the line cruise lines too. Yeah, they yeah. do sort of top deck type burger sandwiches. I couldn't get out of this door because it was locked. Oh. Um, and then people sit out on the deck. Now, on obviously other cruise ships, it wouldn't be enclosed like this. At least I've not seen one that's enclosed. No. Uh, can you think of one? No, it'd have a counter where you could go, walk straight up to and, and get something that way. But they're generally also around the pool deck area. <laughs> which this doesn't which have. Which Queen Mary 2 doesn't have a pool deck at the top. It has plenty of outside pools, though, because they're on the back tiered. Yes. That's it on deck 8 and deck 6, I think it is. Yes. And they're lovely. We're going to get back round to them later on. Uh-huh. But when we came up here, because you did come up to this bit, you just didn't go in the Boardwalk Cafe, because I no, think it was locked when we came up. it was. Um, it does seem weird having such a big open space area when we used to go on cruise ships that maximise the space yeah. on the top deck, because that's where your pools are, it's where everyone's Yeah, but this, this is not made for such things, is she? She's... she's She's not. Uh, made for transatlantic where you're generally not doing that. We've got the kennels here. Now, it was open, and I'm not positive there are any dogs on our particular cruise. No, I think for European cruises, it's not a thing. Because no, but such... we had had some people stay on from the transatlantic. Yes. But I never actually saw it closed. So it may well have been that there were some dogs on there, but it were open. But I didn't want to wander down. No, no. Into there, anyway. I do love this space at the top. We went here... For one of the cruisings, didn't we? We for the fjord cruisings, we came up. We got his coats on and his hats, and didn't need it. It was olden. Warm. It was quite warm, but it was olden, so we would have got wet. Oh, well. Just before we carry on with this, would you like to invite people to subscribe, Linz? I would love to invite you to subscribe. Thank you, as always, if you already have done. And of course, you can follow us on all the social media channels. And if you've not joined the Facebook group yet, please do think about that. And if you'd like to consider supporting the channel a little bit more, click on the join button and you can watch a little video and we'll tell you why you might want to do that. <laughs> anyway, back on. You might have noticed as well as we've been walking on, including on the main deck near the Boardwalk Cafe, there's markings out for shuffleboard and various other deck games as well. They were playing them. I did see it on occasion, just not when yes. I'm walking around here. Yeah. Because it was still a bit wet. Now, is this the pavilion pool we're going into it here? It is. Oh, I liked it in here. Well, I know that because you said, I'm going to stay in here while you do the ship tour, Mark. Am I here? Yes. <laughs> oh. There you are. Oh, that looks like me. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even blink. Oh. Uh, you could hear me. Or obviously, you can't hear me, but on the uh, video, you can hear me going, Lens. Yeah. Um, no. Nothing. No. Well, I was contemplating which cocktail to have from the bar. <laughs> it, you were. And to be fair, by the time I got back, you had got the cocktail from the bar. I had a little snooze and yep. then I got some drinks. You did. 
there's really nice change rooms up here as well. Oh, um, I liked that about this, yeah. And we cover it a little bit more on your practical ship tour. Because it, it is nice that they've got a proper shower and proper change rooms. Yes. As opposed to on a lot of cruise ships, you have to get changed in the toilets. And that's if there's a toilet. Right yeah, no, I love this, that you could just pop some swimwear in your bag if you're going out for an excursion yeah. and then head straight back here, get changed and, you know, have a lovely hot tub and a swim and just chill out after your very busy excursion. Yeah, and it's fairly quite now to swim port, but it did get, I'm not going to say packed, but it no, did get busier. It did get busier. They have a stage on there where they can play music. I don't recall ever seeing them no. while we were on there, but no. it is set up for it. Yeah. But the pool and hot tub's nice. The roof retracts, so if it's really warm... Yes. It goes back. I think we were sort of up around 22, 23 degrees, so they What's never that? opened that? 60-odd. Yeah, they, they never opened it No, up. no. Uh, but again, it's got its own nice little bar, and you can go straight back out to there. You've also got the virtual golf up on this deck as well. I didn't go in here on the ship tour, because it's a screen with a golf... Yes, thing. yeah. Uh, and there were people in Rather there. than mini golf with little mounds. Yeah, it's a, a virtual one. I think they've got something like 52 different courses you can play on. Wow. Uh, but there were people in there when yes. I came up, so I, I couldn't get, even get into it. I could just see where the door was. Yeah. Up onto the top deck, you've got more um, game areas. Yeah. Well, I say top deck. There is technically one above this little bit here. Uh, but you've got a uh, paddleboard here, and they were running paddleboard tournaments while we were on. Uh-huh. I'm just having a look now because, again, there's a lot of wide open spaces, which is great for when you're in the fjords cause he, and you're in an interior room because you can come up onto these decks and just watch the sailing. Um, but there was nothing really happening because I guess they thought it's Norway or heading into autumn. Yeah. It, there's not going to be much happening weather-wise. No, they've not put any chairs up here. I don't know if they do normally on this deck. You could see further down where we came yeah. through. There were people out there. There were chairs there. There's a little golf driving range to do archery in there on occasion as well. And then you've got this observation deck above, which you'll see in just a second. There's nothing really up here. You just uh, you, you just, can just stand up there. You're just higher than everybody else. Yeah, basically. Um, and... As far as I recall, this is the highest point that you can stand on the ship. Um, I'm sure someone will correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. <laughs> it's, let's put it this way. It's the highest point that, that I stood you were on allowed. filming. <laughs> and I couldn't see anywhere above it. Yeah. There were funnels above there. We're in Allison today, aren't we? We were in Allison. We climbed up to the top of that, to that observation cafe. bit there. Oh, yeah, we all, did. All 416 steps and then some bonus ones when you got to the top as well. It was fabulous. And whilst it might not look red hot at this point, it was warm and going up yes. those steps was Yeah, we were warm. really lucky with the weather. We were, because it's about as overcast as it got. When, we came down, when I came down filming on this... We, I met you down back at the pavilion pool where you still were. With a cocktail. And then we went outside. And we sat by deck eight for Sailor and went in the pool and the... Was that pool. here? I thought that was Bergen. No, that were here. We'd, um, we maybe did deck six then. Um, we did it on a couple of them. Yes. Again, plenty of open space on here. I was guessing, but I didn't open it, so I don't know. Yeah. That under this little Cunard banner to the right there, that might have been something like a barbecue or, or, or more likely deck chairs. Or just something secret. Yeah. I went with deck chairs in the end. Now, can I just say that this part of Queen Mary 2 seems pretty straightforward. You go up to go up, <laughs> there's open space, you can see where you're going. Yeah, it you can go one end to the other. You can go one end to the other. It doesn't seem very confusing at this point. Point. No, it gets more confusing than it did for when I was filming the ship tour. Normally when I do a ship tour, I can walk around and I'll do a deck, then I'll go down a step, then I'll do the next step, then I'll go down, etc, etc. Yes. On this one, sometimes, as you were alluding to there, I had to go down in order to come back up, mm -hmm. or up to go down. Yeah. Which doesn't make for the sort of smoothest of sort of walking around. No. Uh, nor does it when you're on there. But you, no. Again, we've got some good tips in Lindsay's in practical my, in ship my, tour. Well, in my ship tips, which will, is up and coming... It is. People will see that, so don't, don't spoil it. No, no, them. but we devised a system. We did. Which worked for us? It worked for us. Hopefully it'll work yeah. for you once once you see my ship tips. You could see the bridge just below to the left as we're walking on there. Yes. And then we're going on to what's referred to as the lookout. Oh, which is the observation deck, isn't it? No. Observation no? deck is below it. 
Is that the so one the way... lookout is the lookout that's this bit? So here. you can see out of the ship, whereas the observation deck is where you can see the captain is. Nope, there. that's the bridge oh, view. I told you it gets confusing. <laughs> so the lookout where we are now, as it suggests, you can look out. And it's undercover, it's lovely. It is. So you can come into it, it's open at all times that the upper decks are open. Yes. So obviously if it's particularly windy or wet, yeah. you may close them. Yeah. But you can get up here. And you have great views. It's really nice for cruising in that whole area there. If you're going through somewhere scenic like we were. Yes. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, and if they put the deck chairs out lower down, which the, I suspect they do more often yeah, than Yeah, but I'm guessing it has to be nice weather. Because unlike other tra cruise ships, they usually have higher sides at both sides than the pool is in between, isn't it? Yeah, this one's is just this very open. Very open. Yeah. Super open. So we're coming down uh, out out of the lookout area mm -hmm. now, and I'm I'm going to say, is this is this a stairway a? Is it? Is that where you're going with? Oh. What about using your foolproof scheme? I I didn't have anything for this high up. Stairway, stairway a. Because <laughs> it yes yes yeah. So, yeah, it's stairway A, and we're just coming down just a couple of decks, so it, it shouldn't be too boring. I'm not going to walk down 12 flights of stairs here. But there are some nice little features at the, on this ship that you don't get, really, on any other ones. No. The, the lookout's a, a good example there. Yeah. There are areas where you, you can observe better. Yes. But this one, you know, there are some really good ones for what you do. This is a really good one. So the bridge viewing area... It's only open during certain times, between nine, nine and four, four, and only on sea days. So it's not when you're in port. Or if there's anything happening. Or if there's anything happening, or the weather's particularly bad. So you could be at sea, but it could be stormy, you won't be at sea. But you can go in there and look straight onto the bridge. So you can watch them all working. There's graphics in there to say what each thing does and what each person's responsible for. Of course, there's no filming or photography allowed. You're not allowed any photography or filming in there. So in even case, if it was yeah. open at the point that I went in with this, which yes. it wasn't, I wouldn't have been able to go no. in and film it no, anyway. No, so you can't go home and build one of your own based on what you've seen. <laughs> no. It, it's a bit weird that they don't let you film or take photographs in there because on other cruise ships, they will let you take photographs or video on a bridge tour when you pay for it. They so, will, yes. So I'm not entirely sure I'm going to say, because I'm sure they've got, you've got photos of me. I have. Yeah, yeah. yeah. On, on Bridge Tours. Yeah. This is called the Atlantic Room. Uh, it's essentially a card room. Uh, yes. As you can see, a couple of people in there They're playing. They're playing cards. And yeah. cards were very popular on this ship. There were. Loads of times when we, we sat in sort of restaurants or bars when people were waiting for everything, the deck of cards came out. Yes. And that wasn't just one person. No. That, that happened even, time and time Even again. like in an evening, people would sit and get have a cocktail and play cards. Yeah. I mean, cheaper than the casino, let's not, you know. No. Little sneaky area where it says passenger alleyway there, you come through onto the observation deck on deck 11. So this is where I think you were thinking of when you mentioned it earlier. Yes. And this is um, almost gives you a, sort of a, not quite a 360 because the ship's in the view, but you can look to both sides of the ship and front and back as well. Yes. So it's not quite 360, but really nice for having a good nosy as what's happening. Yeah. Uh, and when you get somewhere that's as picturesque as this to be able to go out and get some really good photographs. I saw lots of people in here filming. Yeah. All the time that we were on there. You know, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's just, with Queen Mary 2, it's just getting to the place you need to get to. It it's is. the complicated place. When you get there, it's worth it. Once you've figured it yes. as well, yeah. it, it gets much better. You can see sort of right at the front of the ship there as well. And we'll cover sort of down there. Those are real propellers, mm -hmm. the spares. Mm-hmm. So that if it needs to change it, and apparently they can do it when it's docked in port, it doesn't have to go in dry dock. Wow. I'm assuming someone has to get some diving gear on and yeah. go do it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but they're, they're on there so that they can change them. Yes. And someone, I heard someone talking about when we're on the ship, because when we get down there you'll see there's little holes. I say little, they're quite big when you get close to it. And someone said, why have the propellers got holes in it? Mm-hmm. Um, and one of the crew happened to be coming by at the time. Yeah. And they said it's so that that behind winch can attach to it and lift them up. Oh, wow. Which seems really obvious when 
Yeah. When I you're want, told. I wanted to hide a cruise duck down there. But I did hide a cruise duck. You did? And you may have found it. I had to I had to fashion a device you to did. hold you, you it in place. You clipped it on with a hair clip, didn't you? Oh, shh. <laughs> now, you've got these little secret elevators in here. Again, we talk about these on your... Ship tips. Ship tips, as to where to go. But they only go from deck 7 to 11. But it's a pretty, pretty flight. It is. And they're on both sides of the ship. So that you can get straight into these ones yeah. there. It's very quick to get down. It's a lovely way to get down, actually. It's so look nice. Look how pretty that is. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. But they would be incredibly easy to miss. Yes. Because they don't sort of get down where people can easily see them. No. And they you, look you like... You could be on there the whole time and never know about No, them. they look like service elevators. They don't look like... Because there's not a big deal about them. No. Where are we now? We're in Churchill's. I didn't go in here, did I? No. The cigar room is at the side of the Commodore Club. It was really popular in the evening. It was. We saw people in here all the time. And I personally don't smoke cigars, but I do like the smell of cigars. Just like briefly, yes. Yeah. yeah. So when I went in here, the smell oh. was... was me personally, I say I like the smell of it. Yeah, we're really nice. Yeah, but in an evening, it would be really busy because we'd often sit just at the front there. Yes, and we could see it. Where you know you'd have six or seven people in there every night. Now this area here was the LGBTQ plus area between That's where five, and meet up at five and six. Five and six on yes. our particular cruise. Yeah, don't know if it's that on every. Oh, it's normally them. around five-ish for for some like cocktails. Yeah. And, and then we'd sit somewhere, somewhere here. here. Um, and it was a lovely to have cocktails for sale away. And, of course, they bring you nibbles, crisps. They, they didn't bring the warm nibbles no. in the Commodore Club like they did on Queen Elizabeth, but they did bring them in the chat room. They did bring them in the chat room. We got nuts here, didn't we? Nuts and crisps. Nuts and crisps. They were very nice. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> uh, that was our lovely server. Uh, pa- Preven? Preven? Pre- yes. Preven. It- uh, I'm apologising for it pronunciation there uh but he looked after us at the other side where yes. we sat that was his area so we just end up sitting there yeah. each night uh, and he was lovely he was lovely but commodore club is a favorite if you've been on any of the sort of queens it's just you will like it it's there. just getting to this one it is it's a little bit more cumbersome <laughs> but it's not that well, is this the boardroom you just go all the way to the front this is the boardroom they use this for a lot of private events. Okay. So as I come back out, you'll see there's a little stand that says private event. Okay. Uh, it's not a big room. No. So you're not going to hold it you know, for and a wedding service or something like that, I wouldn't guess. No, but it also calling it the boardroom implies there's a big table. And there's, there's not. not. <laughs> so <laughs> it, it, The signs were just on the left there, yeah. which I sort of talked about them. But we talk about how to find your way to... The Commodore Club in my ship tips, don't we? We do. We and do. your ship tips will be coming out very, very soon. Yes. If it's not out already, depending on when you're watching yeah. this. Yeah, yeah. Again, we've got the other lift at this side. So I came in at the other yes, side. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you got the one here as well. And this is straight out of the Commodore Club, isn't it? Yeah, you're in the Commodore Club. So you can come straight up from deck seven. And as you'll see when we get down further on there, this comes out right at the side of the spa yes. area. Yes. But it's really hidden on that. You could walk past this and never see it. You, no, especially when there's a pianist or there's um, somebody playing music, you know. No, sorry, I mean in the spa Oh, area. in the spa, no. It, the, again, there it is looks no like signage a, whatsoever. No, it looks like a service elevator uh, again. Yeah. So is this the top bit of the spa? Is this where the salon was? So you've got the salon here. So I never saw from. this. Did you never go in? No. Have a look. Tell me your thoughts. I'm having a look. I couldn't see the products. It, it, they look they look expensive. <laughs> <laughs> That's your team point. Expensive products. That's yeah. the bet they were. Yeah, they do look expensive. You've got Elemis and stuff there. Yeah, as well, yeah, so. yeah. Um, yeah. It's a nice area. We always find Elemis is cheaper if you buy it from QVC than if you buy it on the ship. <laughs> it, it's cheaper on QVC <laughs> than the ship. Uh, that's just a fact. <laughs> <laughs> there are, I'm sure, other online shopping TV channels where it would be good value as well. <laughs> but well, yeah, it, so this is sort of a spa area there, and yeah. you, you could see the lift sort of just tucked away there. Yeah. So again, we're still on stairway A, which is right at the, the front. front of the ship. So we started off at the back end of the ship and, and the walked kennel, on the top. And walked on the top, which is the easy Easiest. way to do it. Yes. Then it got harder from there. Yeah. So we're 
at the library and the bookshop, again, bookshop closed when you're in part, port, yeah. like all of the shops are as well. But again, so pe- plenty of people in there. They have lots of modern books. Um, it, it's not just what you would expect, like cruise related. It's a proper bookshop. Now, we were speaking to an author in the Commodore Club, we our were. friend now, Dot. And your book of hers arrived while we were. You ordered there. it while we were in port and we I had did. internet. Don't wander off too far just to show something when we're not showing it on video. No, but this this is. The is book. that you wafting the book? It's called Awaken. The Power Awaken, Trilogy. The Power Trilogy book one. By Doc Caffrey. Yeah. I will be starting that. That just came while we've been away? Yes. The library. <laughs> and I can't tell you whether Dot's book's in there or not. It should be. <laughs> it should be. Cunard, if you're listening, make sure you get uh, one of your passengers' books in there. <laughs> yes. Uh, the library's huge. Yeah. I mean, it. from what I understand, it is the biggest library at sea. Yes. Again, please tell me in the comments no, if is. you know of another one. Yeah, there is. Queen Elizabeth, it's a pretty big one, but this but one. Nothing, not compared that's to on this. two floors. That's quite Harry Potter esque, isn't it, that one? Yeah, and it's not as big. This is just fast, but it's got some really nice reading areas. Yes. Now, you'll notice as I'm going through, I'm sure I do show the sign uh, where it says, essentially, shush. <laughs> 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 this is a quiet zone. Shh. Be quiet. Yeah. But if you want to go in there, they've got some internet connected devices. Um, where I don't know if you can browse fully on them, but you can certainly print out things as well. Okay. Because they're a printer at the far end of it. Okay. There is another one that will come to, towards the end of the tour, down on deck two at Connections. So that's good which for is like... more like a proper internet. Yeah. So if you room. need a paper boarding pass or something like that. Yeah, I mean, you. it's really... There you go, please observe silence. I knew there were a shush sign somewhere. There was no person in there going, shh. No. But I, to be fair, I was the only one in it. Yeah. Um, I can't remember what I was saying then. Printer. Oh, no, we're talking about internet. <laughs> but you, you got me back on my train of thought. Oh. Um, it's really easy to assume that everyone takes an internet connected device with them, like a, a smartphone or something. Yes. But the reality is, a lot of people don't. No. And if you do need to check something up, if you need to respond to email, I think it's good that they still have availability, availability in yeah. these. I have questioned. You know, is it a good use of it? Do enough people really use them anymore? But until we get to the point where everyone has something, then yeah. it, it makes sense to do so. Yeah. But again, we're all on deck eight there. We're now down to deck seven. So we're just a little bit further down. Okay. Now, deck seven is a happening floor, isn't it? It's a happening floor. Well, there's a lot going on on deck seven. Deck seven, other than the top decks... And the stateroom decks, because obviously that applies. If you're on that deck floor, you can walk all the way from one end of the corridor to the other. In terms of where there's things on there, mm-hmm. deck seven, I believe, is the only one you can walk the entire distance without either having to go through stateroom areas or go up and down, such as deck three and deck two, where you yes. can't go the straight line. So you're going to you're gonna do deck seven a lot? You will definitely do deck seven a lot, as you'll see when we're coming on here, because King's Court's in the middle of it. Which is their Which buffet. Is their buffet. Yes. So the the gym was actually a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Oh. Um, and they've got some workout space at the side. They do run classes it on as well. Things like yoga in open spaces, not just in here. Mm-hmm. But it was a decent size, and all the equipment were very modern. Now I can see a ladies' loo there as you come out, and a gents. Yeah. Usually, if there's a loo, there's something to do. That's how you... <laughs> Is that your rhyme for Well, it? remember when we were going to the Queen's room? Yeah. And you were like, I've, I forgot. And I was like, there's a loo. Yeah. There's something to do. Okay. That's. I, I, I didn't have that in my head when I was walking around, but no. I'm, I'm glad that works for you. No, it does work. The, To be fair, on the subject of loos, mm-hmm. of which I don't want to do 10 minutes of loo talk... People need them. They do. They're very well signed. Yes. And there's a lot of them. Yes. You, know, you go on some modern cruise ships where they're not particularly well signed. Virgin, I'm talking about you there. Yeah. Um, you know, even when you know the ships, they can be hard to find. Mm-hmm. But on this, really not a problem. Now, we're now ra- is that because of the demographic that it's catering to? I don't know. But they're not hard to get around. Yeah. Propellers, you can see the little holes. Yeah. Which, in reality, are not as little as the pl- as you think they are. That's where I wanted to stick a duck. It is. I think someone would have found the duck quite quickly. Well, <laughs> 
I didn't have a silver duck. That's maybe I need to speak to Lindsay about And get a silver duck made so yeah. that we can hide them a better. A camo there. duck. But you can see the winches there as well. Yeah. We're taking off. So it made sense when yeah. we, we just happened to be walking past as an engineer. Explained. Was explaining to another person. And yeah. Like, oh. Okay. Oh, very interesting, thank you. Yes. Yeah, one of those, the more you know. Yes. <laughs> but it, this is the closest you're going to get to the front of the ship. It's closest you're going to get to your Jack and Rose King of the World moment. You can't get to the front of the ship. No. There are very few ships that you can anywhere these days. But it's still, when you're out at sea and you go out to there, if it's open, which if it's remotely rough, yeah. these big bulkhead doors are not for fancy. No, you've got to, and then step over. Yes, yeah. On a, if, if you're at a rough sea, you will not better get out there. I can saw you step over there. Yeah, it's a decent step. You went out there, you saw it yourself. Yeah. Um, so, rough seas, you won't better get there. You will better get there when no. it's sort of nicer no. when it's like this. Now, this is the promenade deck. Everyone loves a promenade deck. They do. I don't do a full walk of the promenade because I keep going in and out of it all the way around. And it's a full length of the ship all the way around. Yes. They do sort of mile walks around it. I think it's two and a bit laps for the mile walk yeah um or maybe that was kilometer uh it gets used a lot we went out there in an evening after a meal and people walking and they seem to have a system of which way they go around as well they do there isn't actually a you must walk clockwise or anti-clockwise but people tend but to people tend to walk clockwise around it yes so i mentioned about the spa mm-hmm. that's where we are here yes it's also where the uh, thermal Hydrotherapy. hydrotherapy pool is at the back of there and we'll have that in a review in in a future one. Yeah. Uh, I didn't put it into the ship tour because there were people in there. Yes. And so I'm not going to go no, goodness when it's no. like that. No. It's different walking past people when you know, they're reading a book or having a drink yeah. to when people are in an actual spa. Yeah. The chairs outside normally had cushions on. I don't know why they didn't at this specific point when we were in No, box. no. They, they pretty much did all the time. Yeah. They just brought them in at night. Yes, they did. But they were really popular. We've talked about those type of chairs on other ships, but this is the ship that they were pretty much made for. Oh, they're so comfy as well. Yeah, again, you had a little nap out there on one of the days. If I can nap on it, it, it'll, it's, it, it gets it's a nice. big tick. It does. Now, this is the Corinthia Lounge. This again is on deck seven. This is where they hosted the quizzes, the trivia. They did host them elsewhere as well, but but they, but they do host them in here. Yeah, it's a bar in an evening, mm-hmm. entertainment venue, so you get live music going on in here. Yeah, and it's also got its own little cafe area. Oh, it's that illy coffee, isn't it? So you're looking at about four pound, four dollars for a fancy coffee. Yeah, but it's got its own little cafe. Oh yeah, because they, did... well. they do breakfast, breakfast in there. Yes, then they do sort of lunchy snack things and then kind of light afternoon tea things with little buns now the breakfast things we were surprised at because they had um like salmon bagels it wasn't necessarily just a pastry they had some really and they did things in the corinthia cafe that weren't available anywhere else no they they did like those cheesy potato pancakes you can get them anywhere else no so if you're on there definitely go check it out for breakfast especially if you want a little bit of a lighter breakfast one day yeah um, or if you plan on going to the quiz at 10.30. Yeah, because then you can get your seeds, get yourself... Get, get, a, get a sandwich, get, get some brekkie. Yeah. Go in there. But a really nice area. Yes. Um, it does get very, very busy. If you're thinking about going for the quiz, get there 15 minutes before if you want to have a seat. Yeah. Um, and again, you can see where we are there. We've only gone from stairway A to stairway B, um, but we're still on deck seven. Yeah, deck seven, Kings like we Court. mentioned, is... It's a main hub. It, this this is your I-95, your M1 of Queen Mary 2. People w- go up and down this one more you, than any other You deck. say M1, I say A1. Okay, why A1? Because it's only got, like, two lanes. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. It's not the widest, so there is it's stopping not. and you, starting. Yeah, you, it does get busy. I mean, I'm going through here when we're in port at a slightly quieter time of the day, I think just before lunch. Yeah. Um, or just after lunch whatever I remember from there. There's where you can get your teas, your coffees, your hot chocolates. Which are included. Yeah, and you can go get some tea bags from there. Um, we took a couple of the tea bags from there for the tasty ones down the room. Because you like a fruit tea. I do, and they weren't in the room, so I took them down from there. Yeah. And no one said, I couldn't do that, so I did. No. Um, didn't take a load home with me or well, anything. No, Just goodness, no. No. The buffet's a little bit weird 
to get used to because <laughs> it's got kind of this little main area. Yeah. And then there's another area further up called the Chef's Galley where, again, that's in your ship tips, there's a quiet place to eat. But that's also where there is other areas of this, such as the gluten-free area. Yes, but for breakfast and lunch. Yeah, but it's not well signposted that that's where they are. No. Uh, so it's really easy to miss them. But they have, like, all buffets on these type of ships. A good variety of food. We went up here on the last night. We did. Now, a lot of other people were going, oh, we'll go to the Britannia restaurant for our final night. But this was the first evening we'd eaten in Yeah. There. We'd and had breakfast and lunch in there. Yeah, it was lovely. We had a conservatory area to ourselves. It was so quiet, The wasn't staff it? was so attentive. It was really good. T- I think we're going to make buffet... Night last the night, night buffet night yeah yeah because it, it worked really well for us on that we had, we did go through one of the buffet nights yes and it were chaos it there, was there were no seats anywhere no, but it was and, and at lunchtime it does get very busy if you're not in port no because we did the afternoon tea and then we're like well we can't do a three cost dinner now no we just wanted a, some little nibbles didn't yes we? but it has in an evening it has speciality stuff on each one so that evening we went in. It were a lot of Malaysian food. You, we love them. So Malaysian. I had like nasi lemak, uh, beef rendang, uh, something really good. Sa- chicken sambal, didn't it? Chick- yeah, yeah. We sat fi- in one of fish, those. Chili, yeah. chili fish. Yeah. Really nice. Yes. That was one of the little uh, conservatory areas we were just talking yeah. about. Now, this is the chef's galley. In the middle to it, where I'll turn to in a second, that's where you go in for their a couple of their alternative dining venues. Now, they call alternative dining. We call it speciality dining, dining, but Cunard is alternative dining. I think they're trying to imply that it's all the same level. <laughs> but this one is alternative and you have to pay more money. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, you come in. That's the gluten-free area there. Yes. But in an evening, you come into this section here where they check you in. That's where, And it's all coned off in an evening. Yes. Or roped off. Um, and, look, Pizza. We never had pizza on board. This is the only place you can get pizza. They don't serve it in any of the other areas. So, At least they didn't on our cruise. So for us, MSC pizza is still winning. Well, mainly because we didn't try that one. Exactly. Well. <laughs> the, the annoying, genuinely the annoying thing. Well, when we went from here, I came upstairs, you'd finished that, and before we went out to the pool, we decided to go get some lunch. I went, oh, I've seen somewhere that there's pizza. Shall we go down and get it? So it was only like 40 minutes after this, I yeah. guess. And we went down it, it all closed. Yeah. <laughs> there were no pizza there anymore. Now, they do set this up for when they do alternative dining. There's there's white tablecloths. Uh, uh, it, it looks really it nice. It looks like a evening. totally different venue. It does, yeah. No one could, you can't walk through it. No. And we were on our cruise, it was Nordley's, which we loved, and Coriander. So a Norwegian based one and an Indian based one. Yeah. Both of which were very good. And we'll talk about them in the food reviews. Are you going in here? Am I going in here? I'm going as far as I dare go in here, because this is Princess <laughs> Grill. Uh, and there was someone stood just around the corner, I'm like, I can peep there. So, that's the posh zone. Well, I mean, good on them, because it's not like um, on MSC where there's glass doors, where you can't even peek. No. No, you, you can peek in there. Yeah. Uh, and I'm going to go down the other end in a second and peek in the even posh one for the Queen's Ooh. Grill. Um, but I did again. I didn't feel like I could just walk in there with no. a camera. If I'd have been staying in there, I'd have had no qualms about it whatsoever. No. But you've got to respect that those are for the areas where people are paid oh considerably more money. Oh yes. And don't necessarily want someone like me wandering in a company in there <laughs> filming them. Um, I was tempted. Yeah. Now look, that painting there—that's another clue as well, a visual clue. It's got—it's got food on it. That's the grills lounge as well. Oh. Yeah, it's got food on, which means you're coming up to an area with food. Food. And there was loos. We walked past loos again. And what do loos mean? Something, Something to mean. do. Yeah. So you had the Queen's Grill down there, uh, Queen's Lounge there, or, or the Grills Lounge rather, for Princess and Queen's Grill guests. And then you had the Queen's Grill here. Look which, at that floor. Look at that. Doesn't it look posh? It looks lovely. A lot of money. Oh, bearing yes. around you, if you're in Queen's Grill, that is a you've treat. got access to that and you've got access to that lounge behind and you've got access to that deck that we started the tour off in. Yes. That's it. Yeah. You get priority boarding and disembarkation and stuff, but it's not like on some of the other ships where there's a lot more stuff for sweet guests as well. Oh, we're going up now? What's the rule on here? You have to go up to go down. Sometimes you have to go up to go down. Oh. Um, and also, if I've come to the other end of the ship where I wanted to show something on deck eight but couldn't get to it, 
we have to go back again. Yeah, so it's easier to come down to day seven because I'm going to show the veranda. Oh, I loved the veranda. We went for lunch and dinner. We did. Veranda is their steakhouse. It's now called, it just says the veranda on there because it used to be a French restaurant. Yeah. It's now called officially Steakhouse at the Veranda. You didn't look in that room there. I don't know what that, that looked quite fancy. I don't know what I want now. Oh. I, I was looking at the steakhouse at the veranda. Again, lose something to do. And unlike a lot of speciality restaurants, the restrooms are very close to the yeah, venue, yeah. so you don't have to go wandering now, off. Now, this bar area here... Is where they sit you, isn't it? Well, it's where they sit you, but it's also open to everyone. You oh. don't have to have a meal in the veranda. You can just come in there in an evening and sit there, and you can also walk through um, to the um, deck at the back. The During the day. To the tourist bar. Yes. During the day. During the evening, I'm not positive you can't, but I don't recall seeing anyone doing no, it. No, I think... During the day, you definitely can, because even when it's open for lunch, it only opens for lunch on sea days. Yes. So again, because we're in port, don't open. Um, but in an evening, I'm not positive it's closed, but I don't no, recall anyone seeing I don't it. remember anybody walking through in a dressing gown to go to the pool while we were having lunch. No, you have got an alternative side, and I'll come around to that shortly. Um, cause at the other side of the Deck 8 pool, there's some steps that go straight back down yes. to step, step 7. Yeah. Um, so people tended to use that more often, especially if they had sort of wet, Things swimwear on. on, yes, but you got onto the terrace bar. No, we liked it here, we loved it here, and we genuinely didn't expect to be able to use it as much as we ended up doing, yeah, because we're on a Norwegian cruise at the end of summer, so we expected it to be quite cool, yeah. But this was the very first place we had a drink on board, it was, and we um, we even got in the hot tub for sail away, didn't we, in Southampton because. From being from Yorkshire, every, everything seems warm to us. <laughs> so and, and, and to be fair, the, it's never too cold for getting in a hot tub. No, it? and it was a very hot, hot tub. On one of the days, it was so hot, people were sitting in it for five minutes, then sitting on the edge and then going, no, we can't. No. Too hot. It, they cooled it down the following day. Yeah, it, it was, was a, too hot. It was a very hot, hot tub. It w- The bubbles didn't go off. No. It was lovely. Yeah, you could just stay in it as long as you wanted. As long as you could. Now, again, these pool deck chairs that are on there... They've got the same comfy um, cushions. cushions on that they have everywhere. So it's not just in like a, a sanctuary or a retreat type area no. where you get them. You have really nice, comfortable stuff, whether you're there, whether you're on the deck chairs, on the promenade, wherever you are, there's somewhere comfy that you can sit, and have just, a nap, yes. read a book, listen yeah. to some music, whatever you want to do. Yeah. We're looking down there into deck six, and i come down to that in a minute. Behind deck six is something called the Minnows Pool. Oh. Which is for very young children because it's at the side of the children's club. Yes. But there is a popper pool down there. On our particular cruise, because it was during the summer holidays, there was probably more children on this particular QM2 cruise than there would be yes. on your average one. Yeah. It's not to say it was like you know, MSC or Royal Caribbean and the summer oh, holidays no. or PO. No. But more than we saw, for instance, when we went on Queen Elizabeth. Yes. Um, and as such, the lower pool tended to be sort of have more children in it yeah the upper one still didn't have that many in it no um and yeah it's a nice space but we're now sort of down to deck seven again talking about the going up and down mm. so this is the back side of the promenade yes and you'll see as i just walk around the corner just to show you back up that way where you can again walk all the way back up yeah should you wish to do so yes clearly i'm not going to do so because we're, we've done we're going back the other way now yeah Again, they put chairs and tables out on here. There's staff around constantly. You can see there's one of the waiting staff there Yeah. to take drinks. We never had an issue of being able to place a drink while we're on board. No. And it was at 100% capacity. So we're going to the lower bit now. So we're now coming down onto deck six. Yeah. Again, change of room. Lou's, yep. Well, no, proper change of room. Yeah, yeah, that. yeah. That one, the loo, that was the change yeah. room area. And I think the loo, you, you connected into it. Yeah. Look at to know what the numbers stood for on there. No. If no. you do know, please put ta- in the please comments. put a note in the comment. I meant yeah. to ask while I'm on board yeah. and, and kept forgetting to do so. They had very fleecy towels as well. We did. We had Norwegian staff pulling in front of us. We did. I got a little bit of video footage, which I'm sure I'll use it somewhere sometime, where because we'd reversed in and that decided to drive him. Yeah. And it comes within feet. Of the back of our ship. Oh, it does. It yeah. got incredibly close. Because I was filming, it, I'm like, "That's getting 
overly friendly. Yes. Uh, the area that I'm going through now, I went into it because the area was uh, clo- It was open, rather, but there yeah. was no one using it. Yeah. Uh, and I checked before I went through because they keep this closed for children in this half. Oh. So younger children, you'll notice there was that little again. It said keep yeah. it closed. Yeah. This area here... Is for them to play. Is for kids to play. In. Yeah. Now, obviously, if there'd have been kids in here, I wouldn't have gone in. No. Um, no. But I had checked and they said there's no one in. Yeah. Again, they've got a gate, so young children can't just run and get into the pool. Yeah. All nice little things. And then the minnows pool at the back. Yeah. Um, which is nice. Which... It's better geared in some ways, certainly from a safety point of view, um, for very young children than I've seen on some other ships. It looks fabulous, yes. Yeah, no, you can... Because they're still letting them be in the general vicinity yeah. of adults and other people. Yeah. But an open area. Yeah. Now, I suspect if I'd have come down here when we were out of city, it'd have been a bit busier. Yeah. But we're coming through to where the kids' club's on the right, they've got a little play area on the left here as well. Yeah, it looks all very clean and bright and fresh, yeah. lovely. Now, if you remember when we went on Queen Elizabeth, I commented that it looked like a children's zoo. Oh, because it had the netting. It had that netting and the pen. It looked better in this one. And this looks more like a, a kids' club that you would see on yeah. lots of other ones. I don't go in. I don't believe that there were any kids in there at the time. but It looks nice. Yeah. And you, you, it has a programme going on each day for them. And that, that you can't go in and there's a big door is a good thing. Yeah, absolutely. There's a desk right at the start um, Yes. where people are checking yeah. out. Right, so we're down to deck three now. <gasps> we're, we're still at the back of the ship. I've just come down two decks, so we're at stairway D. Two decks? Six. Three decks. Three decks. Yeah, thank you. Oh, don't confuse me. So we're down at the back. That's the, the gallery I'm going to come back through there later on. Yes. Queen's room. Yes. So, lots of stuff going on in here. As you would imagine, ballroom dancing, because it's got a massive ballroom. Yeah. Uh, it is a stunning room. They have they had the Beatles tribute act in here. Yeah, and it, it's a bit disingenuous to refer to them as a tribute act. They were there. great. They were absolutely fantastic. Now, can I make a point about having a drink in here? You can. Because when we got our final bill, it said drinks in... G32. And we knew we'd not been in G32 to, on, that day. Uh, on that day. And then we figured out that the bar is in G32. Yeah. So the drinks are served from G32. Yeah, so if you see that you got a G32 and you're like, well, I haven't been in a nightclub, but you've been in here, that's why. But yes. But in here is also where they do the afternoon tea. Yes. Uh, it gets really busy. Hello, Mary. Queen Mary. Yes. Um, Lovely set of pearls there. She has. Imagine how much they've been. Oh, real. my goodness. Wow. If they um, were real, I think she had real ones. Well, yeah. I'm, <laughs> I know what I mean. Um, top tip for if you come into the afternoon tea, get there about half an hour before if you want any of the floor level ones. Yes. If you get there 10 minutes before and it's a sea day, yeah. you're probably not going to get a seat. No. And then they'll have you queuing up and you'll have to wait until someone leaves. Yeah, and then... Please don't get there 10 minutes to go because people are going to look at you to say, why have you arrived 10 minutes to go? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, good. get there in good time. G32? The nightclub. This is their nightclub, uh, as you rightly said then. Yes. It's actually on two floors. Yeah. Uh, and you'll see in a second. I don't think you ever went upstairs. I here, didn't did go you? upstairs, no. Well, you get to see this as well for the first time. Nice. So the steps at both sides of it. Yeah. So you can come into here from the Queen's room on either the left or the right side. Yeah. Um, whichever way you want to go. They have live music in here, as well as, uh, on our particular cruise, DJ Lily. Yeah. Now, they also had a sign-up saying, no children after 9.30pm. So when you go here and, early... And they were very strict about that. When you go through here early doors in an evening... There might be children There might there. be children on the dance floor. Yeah. You are not seeing them there after 9.30. They, no. They very strictly... Yeah. They, they uh, leave... Adhere to it. Yes. Now, again... Didn't see anyone getting thrown out physically. No. But they make sure to tell people, look, yeah. so you can't be in here. Yeah, think holiday hotel, kids on the dance floor yeah. before 9.30. Yeah. But down there, where the live band play, mm-hmm. we had the four tunes that were in there yes. on our particular one as well. Yeah. Really, really nice venue. I get why some of the other people that we know have been on here. Paul and uh, Carol. Paul and Carol, Ken Cruz and Ken, Cruz and Ken, Ken and Lindsay. Lindsay. Yeah. Um, say how great it is. And you've also got these little peepholes. 
or portals, to be portals. correct. Portals. Uh, but you can peep through the portal. Yes. Uh, into the green room. Yeah. Which, nice little touch. Yeah. But I do like this space. We never sat upstairs in here. No. Um, Great uh, cocktails. Some really good drinks in here. Yeah. Yeah. Which you can also have in the Queen's Room. Which you can have in the Queen's so Room. So if you're watching the ballroom dancing, you're watching the big band night, you're watching someone like the Beatles experience that we had, fantastic. You still get those lovely cocktails. They do some brilliant after-dinner oh. cocktails there that you can only get in this one. So, yeah, we, we, we were good, weren't we? Supposedly good after dinner one well, night. Well, no, we'd had a lot to drink already. and We're like, we're not going to have anything else. No. And then we thought, oh, we'll just get a, a Coca-Cola or something like that, just to yeah. sort of peppers up. I can't bit. remember. We'd gone to see a show in there. I can't remember what it was. No. And you turned the menu over and you're like, they do after dinner cocktails. It was the comedian. Oh, it was the comedian, yeah. Um, uh, the they do after dinner cocktails. We both like, yep, I know one of them. <laughs> I had a peach melba one, which were delicious. And I had a brandy Alexander. Ah, and they were so good. They were so, so, so yeah, good. So, yeah, do yourself a favour. If you're on Queen Mary 2 in in an evening, go in there. After dinner. Or G32 and have an after dinner cocktail. Cause the smooth. They are very, go down very smooth. nice. They go down too well. <laughs> it would have been very easy to have um, more than one of those. Yes. So, we've come out of the opposite side of the Queen's room now. Okay. Uh, as you can see, if you just Ooh. went left. Yeah. It said you'd go through state rooms. Yes. Which you don't want to go through state rooms, do you? No. So you well, have to go down. So you have to go... Well, I'm going to turn around in a second. I'm just actually showing this okay. model because it's a really great model. Ooh. Um, but it's at the end of the corridor for more rooms. Oh. It, it's just kind of put somewhere the way... You, it's lost, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, you're not going to accidentally see... It. Well, sorry, you would probably accidentally see it as opposed to intentionally. Look at the queen and, there, look. Queen and Philip were looking, looking very fabulous, good in, yeah. when we were younger there. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is take us back the other way and we'll go down through the gallery. That was his Matt Smith face there. Was that the Matt Smith from the crown face? <laughs> yes. Not Matt Smith as Doctor Who. Or as Matt Smith in Game of Thrones. Yeah, absolutely. Either way, Matt Smith's doing a good job. Uh, we're in the Britannia room here. Yes. Now this is the back of the Britannia room, isn't it? Or oh, the front, depending where you're looking. No, from. is this not the back? <laughs> it is, yeah. I've come in the other side oh, here, just to, so... to let people have a peep. So it's quite weird because people will come out of the Queen's room and they'll often just walk straight through here and as pe- opposed to going down and they'll walk through where everyone's having dinner. Still having dinner is quite late on normally, yeah. isn't it? Now, at this time of day, the staff don't care you're walking straight through because they appreciate it, otherwise you've got to go down the deck, walk through the gallery, then come back up the other side. And, yeah, it's a little bit more of a trek. Uh, it's not much of one, but no. it's more. Um, but in an evening when the meals are on, people were still doing yeah. that. We did it by accident once. We did it the, on the first yeah. night. We went in the back way. And we, we, sh- yeah. well, we thought that's how we got to the, but no. the thing. Is No, you go down on a deck 3C deck to get into where you actually go into. So you're, you're doing this now, aren't you? Is this so, where this you is, go- so I'm going back the opposite way now. Because you have to go the opposite way in order to get to yeah. the front. So you come out of the Queen's Room and then you see the scene. It says Clarendon Fine Art Collection, which is the gallery. Yes. But it's also, think of it like as like a, a, a road underpass. Were they Lowry's? I never spotted them when we were on the ship. I didn't know someone I wanted, and I oh walked past goodness. this multiple times. Yes. So yeah, think of it like you're going under the main road. Yeah. And coming back around the other side. Yes. It, in an evening, it's actually really popular walking through here. There's it, no staff to harass you or anything. There is uh, someone at the far end. I saw them there once. Yeah. During the whole time, I'm not trying to get anyone in bother. If they were meant to be there, Mark, I didn't <laughs> walk this area all day every day, <laughs> but I only saw them once. Um, but they have some quite interesting, sort of interesting, quirky bits of art. Yeah. yeah we're, we're not. We don't buy. We it. don't buy it on board. We know people who do. They go specifically, and they, that's their memento. We'll just pull a silly face on the cruise photo yeah. and have that. Now you'll notice that they have these little one floor lifts, lifts for, for mobility. With mobility, and that's because again, you shouldn't be going through. Yeah. So if someone's going to the Queen's room, you're going down down that way yeah. through the other side. Yes. Lift back up the other side, and yeah. off you go. Yeah. But yeah, Britannia Restaurant. When you look at it, it, looks like it's got three entrances at this side. These are the two exits for that. Yes. As opposed to. The middle one is the only entrance there. Where you've got the um, maitre d' head waiter with his little desk. 
yeah. to, to book you and in. And you'll see that in just a second, because that's where we are here. Is this it now? Yeah. And then it also has a little sign of where, um, what the dress code is for that evening as well, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely, because depending on whether you've got a gala night or such, Yes. if it's a gala night and it's like black and white and there's a formal dress code, you need to be wearing that to go into the Britannia. Yes. And again, they adhere to it very, yeah. very much. Yeah. You can go into the King's Room, you can go into Golden Lion. On it, not in a, not in an evening, Golden Lion. No, you I'm can just... go into Golden Lion without tucks on. Yeah, but not you can't eat. No, Sorry, no, because no, there's not food eat. in there. Yeah. Uh, but you can <gasps> go into the King's Room. I know where we are now. You're at your gin and tonic place. Where? Look at oh, there. look at those cakes. The three queens, gin and tonic. Oh, my cake. goodness, they are good. Yeah, How you, many you did became, I eat? Well, I think three, but maybe four. Oh, they were You had good. them on at least three separate days. At lunchtime, they have little sandwiches in here. They do. In the morning, they have some breakfast pastries. Yeah, lovely. And later on in the evening, they have, again, they have sort of more things in here. This used to be the Godiva chocolate. Can I talk about that cake? You can. It was very moist. It was very lemony. And it had a little, a little zing from the gin. It did. You liked it. It's just a really good cake. Just going back to Sir Samuel's oh, and sorry. Godiva at the moment. Yes. There's the tasting room at the side where they run events for wine and yes, uh, whiskey yeah. tasting. But what used to be Godiva is now just that coffee area. Yes. So you might have noticed as we came past, they still had um, chocolate pictures on the wall. Yeah, that day they, they made the They've not bothered changing them yet. But now it just it's Illy Coffee. Which you have to pay for. Which you have to pay for and the little sandwiches. The cakes you don't have to pay for. Right. Now... I mean, you just saying how amazing the cakes are. It feels semi-wasted, this space, in the, in an evening. It's just an extension to the chart room next door. Because yeah, the, I... you, you can't get alcohol there. They're not serving food in there in an evening. And the bar comes from the chart room. I think they can probably be more... They obviously decided at some point we don't want it as a chocolate bar anymore. No, there must have been a, a deal that was done. But and it, it yeah. kind of feels yeah. a little bit... Wasted in an evening, so it'd be good to do. Chat room. This ended up being our favourite place on board. We never thought it would be. We thought it'd be the Commodore Club again. We did because the Commodore Club was on Queen Elizabeth yeah. by a long way. But this just shows how different she is. Yeah. Now we'd already said we loved the Commodore Club. It, absolutely fantastic. But this place in an evening. It was buzzing. By half past six. Yes. Forget it. You is not getting a chair. When you talked about people coming into the Queen's room and wandering around looking for a space, that was the general thing after half past six in here. Yeah. Now they have some bar stools as well. Yeah. But uh, fantastic cocktails in there, all based around the zodiac. I mean, what was funny was even if, say, if there was four of you sat at a table, or even just me at a table by myself with a chair, because you'd popped to the loo or gone to the bar or just gone somewhere. They, people say, is this chair taken? You could like have your, your drink there. So people use their handbags as protectors. <laughs> yeah, for try, uh, look, look, well, I'm not just saving it for the sake of it. I've got somebody yeah. with me. Champagne bar where we're in now. They oh. also do caviar in there, sturgeon caviar, and it was £60 for 50 grams, $60. Yes. 50 grams, and then about $20 for a glass of champagne. We didn't do that. We didn't do it. We talked about doing it. What we just I, didn't get round to it. What I didn't like about in there is the menus. It's quite dark in an evening, and they put the prices in yellow, so you can't read the well, prices. On one of the evenings that we went in there, we didn't think they were pricing in there, to which point we're like, if something doesn't have a price, generally that means I can't afford it. No. Um, and I'm not going to ask how much something is. No. But it was in there, but it was in this goldy yellow that, in an evening, Font. as you said, you just could hardly see it. No. But anyway, the, the prices started at $17 and went up. Mm. They went up a long way. Yeah. But uh, your average glass of champagne and rosé champagne was 17 or 20. I would use your torch on your phone to read the price. We should <laughs> well, have done that. We en- no, we ended up doing that. Is that what we did? Yeah, to try and figure out how much it was when we could see, we could just about see it. The shops that are on board. Yes. Um, are what you expect to see on yeah. most shops. They have the jewellery shops. They have some fancier ones on here than than other ones yeah the prices are pretty good certainly when you're looking at you picked up a, a lipstick on there yeah uh, one that you would get off ship yes and it was about five pounds cheaper cheaper about, about eight dollars cheaper than you would have got it normally yes um yeah so it's worth it i had to look at some of the aftershave that i use and, and that was about 10 15 pound cheaper than yeah you'd see it's in a nice little boots. memento 
So, yeah, really nice. Um, on deck three at the back, we've got the Royal Court Theatre. I'm going to go in here. Yeah, we liked yeah. it in here. We did. It's got some nice little chairs. So it's got these bench seats, which we never sat on them, but it's got these little swivel chairs with a, with cocktail, a little cocktail table in. Love which cocktail table. It's lovely. The, the, marginally just too close to each other in certain ones so when one person turns they don't look at there but it's the middle of those that are below when one turns you turn the chair next to you yeah so you have to end up sitting quite rigid yeah but again it doesn't look that fancy because there's nothing going on at the point that i'm in here but it, really good theater normally we're about three quarters full i would say so and also again if you want a good seat get there Earlier because About you can. Ten minutes early. Yeah, so you can get yourself a drink, get yourself organised, and get a nice seat. Yeah, we never had a problem really on this one where there were people coming in or leaving. Or no, like. no, not that we noticed. But again, I think that's down to passengers on a particular cruise as opposed to the cruise ship. Yeah, maybe. Um, maybe people were just like, yeah, that, we're settled. That, that's fine in there. Oh, we've got a drink. So we're again on one of the little underpass areas. <laughs> There is a huge number of these notice boards, and they're on the stateroom floors as well, that give you a huge amount of history and stories on Cunard, about the funnels, uh, and as we go up here in a second, about some of the stars that have sailed with it from Hollywood's golden era Yes. over the time. And it's not a particularly well-known area of the ship or where people go to on a regular basis, but it's generally worth walking up because yeah. the stories in there are fantastic. Yeah. Illuminations, which is where we're going to go to before we get up to there. Yeah. This is where they have a cinema. Yeah. And at the point that I go in, it's pretty dark, so apologies. And there was a uh, a film going on, so I couldn't stay in here long. No. Um, but it's also the planetarium. Yes. So when you're at sea in an afternoon, they have a planetarium. But as a quick tip, because I fell foul of this because I didn't realise, they make the bookings available on the day for the planetarium on the... I'll say app in the loosest possible term because it's basically just a website. Yeah. But they sell out incredibly yeah, fast. It's free, but it says sold out. They get booked up um, really quickly. And they're just gone. Yeah. So if you want to go see the planetarium, look for it as early in the morning as you can on the day that it's going to be on sea days, albeit it was on in the afternoon of one of the port days as we pulled out. They, they'd put some on, so I would just check every day, basically. As to whether it's on there. Yeah. This is the piece that I was saying as we walked through where you've got all the stars that have been through and you had people like David Niven on there, Marilyn Monroe, uh, Sammy Davis Jr., Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin. I didn't see them. Did you not see oh, them? Oh, I just saw them then. I think I just saw one it, then. I saw just, Charlie Chaplin. Uh, yeah, Charlie Chaplin was on there. And it it, explain, it tells a story about them and their history with Cunard, not Queen Mary 2. So obviously that's a much more modern ship compared to... I saw David like Niven David there. Niven there. Uh, and you see more when you're coming through. But it's a really interesting place to just go have a wander around up there and read it. Because practically no one ever goes up this end at all. Uh, because no. it doesn't really go anywhere. It doesn't. Uh, and it's a shame that it's there to the point where people are not necessarily seeing it. When any other sort of cruise line, a modern cruise line, will probably get older something like this and get outfits from the time and the model, you know, make a big deal out of it. Oh, the, the abs- you know, if you've got the history of the people who sailed with Cunard, Cunard yeah. that they have, you would absolutely... You know, you'd probably have big... the Charlie Chaplin cocktail, the Dean Martin cocktail. They would make such a, a fuss of it, but Cunard A don't. Dean Martin cocktail would be a strong cocktail. <laughs> Sign me up. Uh, that, that's someone who likes to drink that's, more than we do. That, yeah. Uh, that's the other side of Illuminations. We haven't gone back straight to it. It has two entrance ways in there. You won't be covered in the drinks package for the Dean Martin cocktail. <laughs> <laughs> do you think it'd be outside of that price? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, yes. I suspect it would. You, the, I mean, we hadn't really touched on it as we've been going around, but the decoration throughout the ship is so classy. It is. It is. Uh, it's what you would expect... But yeah. Even when you expect it, you still go, oh, this is just amazing. You know, the wood panelling. I'm sure it doesn't come across it, you know, even in 4K no. HDR, it's not going to come across as fantastic as it does in real life. So we've come down to deck two now. Ooh. This is an area called Connections or Cunard Connections. Yes. Um, it's basically used for meetings, for group meetups. It's also where the other internet room that I mentioned earlier 
Is this festival. where people did jigsaws and things as well on those tables? No, they tended to do them down the, the alleyways at the side. This is, there's like a little area where you can get drinks. There's a Vitality drink station down here as well. It, it's used for meetups and okay. uh, various stuff. There's some people in here playing bridge, I think, when I went past oh, it. Oh, wow. Uh, they may not be playing bridge. I do not know. They, they were, were playing, playing cards. something with cards. And there's four of them. It was so very let's, intense. Let's say bridge then. I could hear the intensity. <laughs> as I walked in, I'm like, I'm not going any further. No, no. Uh, I won't put them off bridge, the cards. Bridge, definitely but bridge. But another drink station there where you can get teas, coffees, um, like you can anywhere else. Oh. But, uh, nice space. Just, again, you never went down here because you had no reason to do so. No. This is the oh. little internet cafe. It looks like something from Severance. <laughs> <laughs> it does look a little bit like that. It's like a sort of 90s office area, wow. tiny little cubicles. Wow. But again, it's just one of these places where sort of people go meet up. Oh, wow. And then up we go again. I... We we said at the start of, to get around Cunard, you do go up and down a lot. We are not expecting you to be able to memorise our entire video and then adopt that while no. you're operating the ship. <laughs> No, absolutely not. But the practical ship tour tip for how to navigate it... Should help. Should help you. Um, so if you've not seen that and it's out, go watch that. Uh, we'll put a link to it below. Um, or it will be out... I think we're actually planning a lot, Next putting it out week. the week after this one. Because it's it, we want people to be able to help, basically. We do, yeah. uh, other entrance to the Royal Theatre on deck three. Yep. And then we're coming back down to the other side of the shops. Yeah. And again, you got some very expensive stuff. Yeah, they, they had an money. Amiga watch event, so. and yeah, I mean, and the pieces of Tanzanite, I've never seen them so big. Oh, they had a huge they piece. Love they had the... a piece like Rose's necklace in Titanic. It Titanic, was huge, huge. Well, if you remember, we saw a the heart, heart one. one on Queen Pre Elizabeth. Yeah, this was more um, an emerald style one. Yeah, it wasn't cheap. I don't, I'm not asking the price. No, it, it definitely wasn't. On the sort of cheaper side, and then a little Liberty store, for yeah, British, and also um, some people we met on the ship as well. They ended up getting a really nice Radley handbag for a great price in the, the sale, sale price, yeah. And it was about half price of what it should yeah, have been, yeah. And, and that's definitely half price of what it would have been online. Yeah, well. like like a tan leather one. It was lovely. Yeah, we're coming down into deck two, into the main sort of atriumy. This is where area. you get on, isn't it? It is, yeah. It's also where, you know, as they refer to it on here. It's the purser's office. On other ones, you might call it as guest services, reception. Basically, if you've got any issues, you go there. If, you build, if your invoice is wrong, if you need help with something. Also, if you need cash, because I needed some for tips. for tips on the last night, you can go there and they can issue you dollars yes. uh, to tip. Uh, so there's no ATM on board that I'm aware of. Not that we've not that spotted. Uh, but they will give you the money there. Yes. And the, there was no service charge for doing it. It was just a... A like for like. That's super. Um, you've got these little bronzes on... Little? I was being sarcastic. <laughs> uh, on decks two and three. Yeah. As you go in. And probably one of the best secrets on the American one, best known secrets, is Homer Simpson. Yeah. Uh, hidden in there. But there are some really quirky little things if you look at it properly. It's worth going down and having a look at them on decks two and three because they are very interesting. Golden Lion Pub. Get there before 12 o'clock if you're yeah. wanting lunch. It only serves one meal a day in there, which is lunchtime. Yes. Um, we got in there about 20 or two. Uh, I would uh, say so. And I had no problem. We sat just where those lads there are. Yeah. Um, got our table, no problem. By 10 so there was no space whatsoever. Yeah. Um, and the our waiter said... You know, it it's going to get chock-a-block. Chock-a-block with um, the words he used. In fact, that was our waiter just there. Yeah. Uh, and it does things like fish and chips and pie of the day, traditional British style pub food. But they actually do it very well. I can't wait for Queen Anne. Albeit, fish and chips, they served it with fries. They did. That's not fish and chips if it comes with McDonald's style fries. They were fries. They were fries. The chips fries. were lovely. But let us know in the comments below. Would you still class it as fish and chips if it comes with fries? If you say yes, you're not from Yorkshire. <laughs> uh, it could be with chips. Uh, but there were still chips. there were good fries to there were be thick fair, cut chips. and it came with mushy peas, and it was lovely. 
thick cut um, chips. But yeah, if you do want to get in there, get in early. The photo gallery, we actually bought a couple of photos. Yeah, and it's one. digital, so you just put your room number in and it does the facial you can have a look scanning. At it. Um, and we, when we went through, we, we ended up speaking with the photography manager, who's yes. also one of the photographers. Yeah. And we just got some pictures done on the gala nights. And, and they loved it. They loved yeah, what we because had. Because they, they do the normal: put your hand on your head, put your hand on your partner's shoulder, and we like, we don't want to do that. We just kind of we, we know kind of how we want to pose. Can we do that? And we're like, yeah, go for it. And we did. Uh, and we did. And we got a couple of brilliant pictures. Yes. Well, we think the brilliant pictures. Well, they're, they're more fun. We don't look they're as awkward. No, they're definitely fun. It came in a beautiful frame as well. Came in a beautiful frame. We'd had a few cocktails. We must point that out. Oh, the casino. We did not do well in. We did. We banned ourselves on this. I mean, we normally only allow ourselves a hundred dollars anyway. Um, we went in and we went and decided on this one evening when we'd had quite a few drinks already. Again, well, to be fair, we'd had a lot of drinks. We didn't pay for. We didn't do his own advice. No. We thought again. We've got. You're in a tuxedo. I'm in an evening gown. That's not when you go there. We must be good. Yeah. <laughs> We went and played blackjack or pontoon, as Lindsay insists on calling it. Mm-hmm. Um, we had $100 between us, which we know is not a lot, and we were playing on the $5 table. Yeah. We literally won between the two of us two hands, and that we, it were gone in about, what, 10 minutes? It were awful. And then we are like, right, that's it. We're not going back we're in out. there again. We're out. We're out of here. But it's a nice casino, you know, and it's nice in an evening. It's a good atmosphere. It's non-smoking. Yeah. Which us non-smokers... You know, we appreciate. Fine. We appreciate it for us, but we appreciate it. Some would prefer that there is yeah, a smoking area. Yeah. There isn't on that. This is direct the way you come into the ship when you're boarding in front of this signage here. It's worth taking a picture of it <laughs> at that point because you've got half a chance of knowing where you're oh, in. No, there. you watch my ship tips and you'll You learn it. You'll I've got a I've got a system. You've got the, the whole sort of entertainment crew there. That was the entertainment director in the middle at the top. Yep. And we saw quite a, a lot of them wandering around. And this is the... Um, the future cruise area. Of, I think they call it World World Cruise. World, Voyage Sales and World Club, that's it. Yeah. Um, and it, good offer when we're on there, because it were low deposit. We booked for a cruise while we were on there. Low, lower deposit than what they normally do. It was not your $50 that you'd no. get on there. And we got a huge amount of onboard credit. Oh, we did, yeah. I, mean, I don't know how what the offer is normally, but we got $550 per person. And it wasn't the 15% we And paid. it's not like we booked no. in Queens or Princess Group. No. This was a, a normal balcony. Yeah. But they had a special offer on and we were like, wow. We'll and do it. And we transferred that straight to Martin Travel, our travel agents. Yes. In fact, they did it for us while we were on there. Yeah, they did. So by the time... We got off. Got, no, it was later that day. I had an email back through from our travel agents confirming they'd got everything. Oh, amazing. Fantastic. So, yeah, it's definitely worth, if you're thinking about doing it again, definitely worth booking Checking while out you're on what board. offers are. Because one, you're going to pay less deposit, $175 per person, I think. Yes, which is still not. A, not insignificant, no. but it's less than you pay when you're on land. Yes. But uh, some really good pricing on there. Yeah. Uh, good offers for while we were on there. Yeah, yeah. definitely. But. When we're just heading back round to the main atrium. As you say, that, that area there just loops round, but there are stuff in there, like that sort of next journey. Yes. Uh, booking areas yeah. and, and, and everything else. And here we are, out into the main atrium again, oh, with yeah. the piano, which is not a depressing one. No, no, it was playing... When it was automatic, it was playing more nice. up-tempo, and yeah. we occasionally stop it yeah. But we're coming up to the end of the video now. Oh, my goodness. Mm. Well, we hope we've helped. <laughs> and we hope you've enjoyed it. We know it's a long one. We hope you've enjoyed your cocktail and nibbles as you've been sort of watching along with us. And we'll see you for the next video. Well, cheers, darling. Oh, thank you for watching, and have a lovely day.